Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? As you may have noticed, our graduates have arrived from the campus, and we are ready to begin the ceremony. here at Granite Hills. This class has established themselves in academics, community service, and athletics. We are here to honor the accomplishments of these young individuals. Each of the students will have a unique moment during the ceremony when their names are announced and the diploma is awarded. Applause is appreciated. However, we ask that you please limit your applause because there is little time between honoring one student and the next. At the conclusion of the ceremony, we will have a recessional during which the graduates will proceed to the south end zone. Please remain in your seats until the recessional is complete. We will then release parents and family to join the graduates on the field. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you please stand for the professional.
ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2023. We ask that you please remain standing to honor our country while the class president, Sedona Pratt, joins me on stage to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sedona. Please remain standing as four of our great Academy faculty members, Camille Gonzalez, Shane Churchill, Sharie Glisson, and Javier Alcantara Rojas sing the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. At this time, I ask that the audience and graduates please be seated. It is my pleasure to join these graduates in welcoming their parents, family, and friends. On stage with me this evening to join in honoring the class of 2023 are members of the Apple Valley Unified School District Board of Trustees. Mr. Dennis Bender, Board President. Mrs. Maria Akpara, Board Clerk. Mr. Rick Raleigh, Board Trustee and Mrs. Amanda Buchanan, board trustee. Joining the board members are the Apple Valley Unified School District leadership team. Mrs. Trené Nelson, superintendent. Mr. Patrick Slosher, assistant superintendent, educational services. Mr. Dustin Conrad, assistant superintendent, human resources. And Mr. Matthew Schulenberg, Assistant Superintendent, Administrative Services. I would also like to introduce the members of the Granite Hills High School Administrative Team. Mrs. Laura Stewart. 
Mr. Daniel Rincon, Mr. Marcus Bruce, Mr. Brian King, and Mrs. Clarissa Agard. In addition, many members of the faculty and staff at Granite Hills High School and Apple Valley Unified School District are present tonight to honor these graduates. They are seated in the stands and with the graduates on the field. Please join me in honoring these staff members. Well, again, welcome. My name is Adam Powell, and I am privileged to be the principal of Granite Hills High School. It is an honor to be here tonight to recognize the accomplishments of the class of 2023. And I'd like to take a moment to honor the memory of two students who would have loved to be here celebrating with their graduating class. Richard Anthony Contreras and Daniel Osvaldo Torres. Anthony had a smile that could light up this stage and was a gentle giant who loved his family, his friends, and repping his LA Dodgers. Danny was a young man of determination with his mindset on making his family proud and accomplishing his goals. Their light has gone too soon, but we celebrate with their families with us tonight and honor their time as Granite Hills Cougars, class of 2023. The class of 2023, this night is about you. And I know all of you did not come here to hear me talk, so I promise to make this speech brief. But this is the last time that I'll ever get to address you as a class. And there are some things I need to say before we go. You have left an indelible mark on our campus, your teachers, your friends, and me. Like other classes before you, your class endured a lot. But what has made you all so memorable to all you've encountered is your incredible response to such tremendous adversity. Whether consciously or not, you all seem to have made a determined decision to make the most of every opportunity afforded you. While many students stumbled out of distance learning in a malaise of disenchantment and lament over lost time and experiences, you guys, the class of 2023, seized a return to campus like a winning lottery ticket. Like a terminally ill patient given a second chance at life, your positive attitude and drive to make the most of every opportunity was infectious and valiant. Returning from distance learning near the end of your sophomore year, many of you played three sports simultaneously over the course of eight weeks. You signed up for AP and dual enrollment courses despite fears of being unprepared. Your class single-handedly reinvigorated and saved after-school tutoring. Your class had the most early semester and three-year grads. Your class received the most RIMS AVID scholarships in our program's history. Your class led our school to its first sportsmanship award for the Citrus Belt Athletic Directors Association our first Dell Scholar, our first back-to-back -back state championship for Skills USA and Mechatronics, and our first student athlete to make all CIF four years straight and have her number retired. Your class refused to take no for an answer, refused to let school closures be a thief of joy, and refused to leave Granite Hills High School without being forever impacted by your presence. You leave a legacy of hard work, determination, and value, and you exemplify our school motto, Maroon and Gray, lead the way. For these reasons and many more, 
This class is very special to me, and this day is bittersweet. While I am proud of your many accomplishments and am overjoyed to be celebrating with you, I lament the idea of sending you out into the world and second guess whether I've done enough to fully prepare you. But as I prepared this speech, thought about all that I wanted to say, thought about this class, the faces of students I interacted with in AVID, at Superintendent Student Advisory Council, ASB, and site leadership team, the faces of students I watched compete in athletic contests and concerts, laughing with friends at lunch or smiled at when walking the halls. I quickly realized I had nothing to fear. The class of 2023 is one of the most determined and motivated classes I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. Your response to adversity was to turn it on its head and make it positive. And in so doing, you inspired others around you to do the same. And you inspired me. And this reflection reminded me of a famous quote from Albert Einstein and the story behind it that I will leave you with tonight. In the early months of 1955, just before Albert Einstein's sudden death from an aneurysm on April 18th, Life Magazine editor William Miller traveled unannounced to Einstein's home in Princeton, New Jersey. He was accompanied by his son, Pat, a Harvard freshman, and William Hermans, a poet, scholar, and longtime friend of Einstein's. The reason for the trip was Miller hoped Einstein could impart some wisdom to his son, a science student who idolized Einstein and was struggling with the meaning of life. During the impromptu visit in a conversation with a young Harvard freshman, Einstein casually shared one of his most enduring pieces of advice. Try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value. Towards the end of the meeting, Miller shared his son's creeping nihilism. He can find no reason why he should strive to achieve. This prompted the following exchange between Einstein and Pat. Einstein looked at Pat and simply asked, does not the question of the undulation of light arouse your curiosity? The nicest thing about the question was his simple assumption that the boy would understand it. Yes, very much, said the boy, his interest brightening. Is not this enough to occupy your whole curiosity for a lifetime? Why, yes, said Pat, smiling rather sheepishly. I guess it is. Then do not stop to think, said Einstein, about the reasons for what you are doing, about why you are questioning. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existence. One cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of this mystery each day. Never lose a holy curiosity. Try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value. He is considered successful in our day who gets more out of life than he puts in, but a man of value will give more than he receives. I love this interaction for two reasons. One, the idea of popping into Einstein's house unannounced to discuss the meaning of life is surreal to think about. Two, in our increasingly style over substance, me first, find the shortest path to success, self-promote at all costs world, I find Einstein's humble perspective to be needed now more than ever. The class of 2023 has added value to the fabric of Granite Hills High School. You have given your teachers, classmates, peers, and me more than you've received. Continue to lead through service. Continue your positive attitude in the face of adversity. Continue to be a light unto the world, and you will find that you will forever add value to those you come in contact with, and success will follow. 
For the value you have all added to me, I thank you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your lives and in turn, being a part of mine. Congratulations, class of 2023. And always remember, once a cougar, always a cougar. At this time, I ask that all distinguished scholars stand at their seats and be recognized. Attaining the status of distinguished scholar at Granite Hills High School is an extraordinary achievement. To be recognized as one, students must complete at least eight year-long honors or AP classes with a grade of C or better. They must also attain no grade lower than a C in all other classes throughout high school. We have 55 students in the class of 2023 that have fulfilled these requirements. You will recognize them by the white cords they are wearing for the ceremony this evening. Next, I would like to ask that our Golden State Merit Diploma recipients please stand at their seats to be recognized. To be eligible for Golden State Merit Diploma, students must be receiving a high school diploma from their district and have earned distinguished results on six qualifying examinations. We have 89 students who have earned this honor. They just forgot to stand. All right. We would also like to have our state seal of biliteracy recipients stand. There we go. These students will receive an additional seal on their diploma and transcript, recognizing them for having attained a high level of proficiency in speaking, reading, and writing in one or more languages in addition to English. We have 30 students who have earned this honor. We are also recognizing another special group of students, those who have chosen to serve their country by enlisting in the military. Would our new enlistees wearing their red, white, and blue cords please stand? I would also like to honor members of our service clubs and programs, Cougar Tutors, Peer Helpers, and Special Olympics Unified Champion School Advocates. Please stand. In addition, we would also like to take the opportunity to recognize our Medical Assistant Program and Skills USA medical students. These students have completed their programs and received their certificates. You will recognize them by their white and black sables and their stethoscopes. I would ask our Medical Assistant and Skill USA medical students to please stand. And finally, it is with great pleasure that I recognize our two academies. First, our SCADA Academy. This is the fifth class to complete their rigorous four-year course of study. You will recognize them by their 3D printed medallions. SCADA graduates, please stand. And second, our Granite Recording Entertainment and Arts Training Academy, Arts Media and Entertainment Pathway. This is our fourth graduating class. You will recognize them by their silver sashes. Great students, please stand. Let's please give all those graduates a round of applause. Thank you. It is with great pleasure that I present from this group of distinguished scholars, those graduates who hold the highest academic honors for the class of 2023. This class has produced 13 valedictorians. These 13 graduates 
have challenged themselves with the most rigorous curriculum and have achieved exceptional success during their four years at Granite Hills High School. As I introduce them, I ask that they join me on the stage. Your 2023 valedictorians, Janelle Aguirre. Joined tonight by parents Nicole and David Aguirre, Janelle is graduating with a 4.42 GPA and will be attending Duke University and majoring in biology. Her ultimate goal is to become a medical doctor. She was president of Interact Club and will always remember all the laughs she had in Mr. Taglianetti's AP US history class. Elmer Champeth. Celebrating tonight with parents Elmer and Amita Champeth. Elmer is graduating with a 4.38 GPA and will be attending the University of California Riverside and majoring in mechanical engineering while also completing the Air Force ROTC program. Elmer was a 2022 Boys State Delegate, Chancellor Scholar for UCR, Cougar Tutor, and AVID President. Dylan Heflin. Celebrating tonight with parents Jamie and Brett Heflin, Dylan is graduating with a 4.27 GPA and will be attending UC Santa Barbara and majoring in biology. During his time at Granite Hills, Dylan was an active member of Interact Club for three years and continued, contributed to many service projects throughout the high desert. Desiree Hernandez. Joined tonight by parents Cecilia Mendoza and Jesus Hernandez, Desiree is graduating with a 4.24 GPA and will be attending UC Irvine and majoring in political science. Desiree was a member of Interact, Tutoring, and AVID during high school and will always remember the AVID NorCal field trip where she learned a lot and created such great memories. Alexander Kim. Joined tonight by parents Han Kim and Abby Kim, Alex is graduating with a 4.35 GPA and is a completer of our SCADA program. Violet Kim. Celebrating tonight with parents Yang Kim and Jackie Jung, Violet is graduating with a 4.38 GPA and will be attending UC San Diego and majoring in general biology. Violet was president of Cougar Tutoring, treasurer of AVID, board member of Youth Advisory Council, and seal of biliteracy recipient for Korean. Her most memorable moments from high school were going to prom, grad night, and time spent at Cougar Tutoring and watching the club grow. Richard Mariano. Celebrating with family Araceli Mariano, Hector Mariano, and Ariana Mariano. Richard is graduating with a 4.26 GPA and will be attending Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and majoring in mechanical engineering. Richard was a four-year athlete in track and field and team captain during the 2021 league championship season. He will always remember his true friends, the ones that stay by his side and never left. Janelle Matias Rodriguez. Joined by mom, Cecilia Rodriguez. Janelle is graduating with a 4.46 GPA and will be attending UCLA and pursuing a career in entrepreneurship. Janelle played varsity tennis, was a member of Cougar Tutors and Interact. She will always remember April 18th as the most inspiring day of her life, filled with memories that will continue to motivate her and push her to try her best. 
She'd like to thank her mom for everything. Azor Eli Mendoza. Celebrating tonight with parents April Kate and Kevin Kate. Azor is graduating with a 4.28 GPA and will be attending Victor Valley College to pursue a career in automotive technology. Azor was a four-year student of the SCADA program and proud member of the Salt Christian Club. Azor stated, school is a place where you learn to be human, is what my sensei told me once, and that is exactly what high school has made me to be. I will always remember the teachers and students' kindness during those hard times in COVID. Although many people loathe such an event, teachers and students were willing to compromise and adapt despite such annoying conditions. And for that, it became my most memorable moment in high school. Zaron Pang, celebrating tonight with parents Huakan Pang and Yang Hui Zhang. Zaron is graduating with a 4.31 GPA and will be attending UC Irvine and majoring in biomedical engineering pre-med. A memorable moment for Zaron was being named a scholarship winner of the 36th annual multilingual recognition. Manav Darshan Patel. Celebrating tonight with parents, Balrabi Patel and Darshan Patel. Manav is graduating with a 4.53 GPA and will be attending UCLA as a neuroscience major. He plans to continue his education to eventually become a dermatologist. Manav took 16 AP classes, was a member of various clubs, including Cougar Tutoring and Interact, and played tennis for three years. He will always remember the times he skipped class to get food and hang out with friends, and the times he talked to his teachers all throughout lunch. Barun Salwan. Celebrating tonight with parents Dr. Mini Salwan and Dr. Arvind Salwan. Varun is graduating with a 4.52 GPA and will be attending UCLA and majoring in psychobiology. Varun was president of the Meditation Club, focusing on mindfulness, was a dedicated varsity basketball athlete, published research at UC Irvine on the racial disparity in healthcare, received the Compassionate Care Award in hospice care, and was a volunteer at High Desert Homeless Shelter. Some of Varun's greatest memories were spending time and bonding with teammates and the great memories at grad night with his friends and brothers. Kimberly Lucia Soltero. Celebrating tonight with parents Lucia and Herman Soltero, Kimberly is graduating with a 4.21 GPA and will be attending Brigham Young University and majoring in theater arts studies, costume design. She will then continue on to earn an MBA in entrepreneurship. Kim was a member of Interact Theater Production, an avid mentor, was named All League for Varsity Tennis and was a student worker at Desert Knolls Elementary. She will always remember learning to put her heart into everything she does. Again, please join me in congratulating all of our 2023 valedictorians. Janelle Aguirre, would you please come to the podium at this time? I would like to start this speech off by giving a big congratulations to us, the class of 2023! <laughs> 
Over the course of these past four years, we have all developed greatly as people. New friendships have been made, new interests have been formed, and new aspirations have arisen. These years have flown by, and sometimes it feels like just yesterday that we were fresh out of the eighth grade, desperately trying to navigate the halls. However, I think I can speak for everyone when I say that though these years have been short, the memories that we've made within them are forever long lasting. Like the times we've laughed so hard to the point of tears, the times our teachers and coaches have supported us beyond measure, as well as all the times we have both won and lost. Today, we say goodbye not to these memories, but to the idea of making more at Granite Hills High School. Today, we are stepping through the threshold between our present and future. We are stepping into the unknown. Admittedly, the unknown is a bit scary. None of us really know what the future holds or have a definitive idea about what to expect. However, I think it is the way in which we approach the unknown that makes all the difference. Many times, the unknown is a force that inspires fear and anxiety. But it is for this exact reason that we should step into it. Because it is when we breach our zone of comfort and surmount the limits of our fears that we gain opportunities and grow as people. Confronting the unknown head on, despite the fear or anxiety that it may induce, means we are putting the power in our hands and not in the hands of circumstance. It means we are giving ourselves the opportunity to perpetually flourish. I believe that we are all here for a reason. We each have a set of gifts that the world deserves to receive. Each of our souls are special and have something great to fulfill. To put into perspective just how special each of us are, I would like to share with you a fact. The chances of each of us existing as we are, are one in 10 to the 2,685,000th power. That's 10 followed by almost 2.7 million zeros. The fact that we exist as we are in and of itself is remarkable. If we weren't meant to share special gifts with the world, I believe we wouldn't have beaten the odds of existing in the first place. We belong in this world, and each of us is meant to improve it in whichever way we wish. As it has been proven, we possess the purpose and vibrancy of mind to be successful in whatever we do. But it is our mindset that determines whether we will in fact to do it or not. The first few chapters of our lives have been written. What are those chapters being our time together at Granite Hills? But there are so many more to be written in the stories of our lives. And it is after today that the pen to write those stories is fully bestowed upon us. So as we move on, let's write our stories with conviction. Let's fill them with chapters of fun, passion, adventure, love, and friendship. Let us face the unknown head on and make our stories remarkable, just like our existences themselves. Thank you and congratulations again, class of 2023! Thank you, Janelle. It is my great pleasure to now introduce the Granite Hills High School Vocal Music Department singing Final Countdown, arranged by Kirby Shaw. All right, class of 2023, as you guys approach the final countdown of your long 13 years of education, we know as you guys blast off into the wide world, you're gonna be successful. Let's do this.
Mr. Churchill and our choir. Our next speaker will be Ashley Guzman, ASB Governing Council President. everyone, board members, faculty, staff, administration, co-workers, friends, family, loved ones, and of course our class of 2023. It is a pleasurable honor to be up here speaking as Granite Hill student representative for the last time. For those of you who are unaware of who I am or what I've done during my time at Granite, I want to start off by apologizing for not being more present as I could have been. My name is Ashley Guzman. I was your governing council president and I'm sure you have all at least heard me on the morning announcements 
at least a few dozen times, or seen me as MC for a few of the pep rallies. What most of you don't know is I spoke monthly at the board meetings, updating our district superintendent Nelson and the board members of trustees about life on our campus, about how the sports teams were doing, how various school events went, including school musicals, plays, and dances, and I have even mentioned some of our clubs. Trust me when I say you have all been noticed and I can tell you how incredibly proud I was to mention you every single time. It's been quite a year for all of us hitting that final stretch for the end, but I don't just wanna mention the end. I wanna start from the beginning. Some of us, me included, have been in this district starting here in kindergarten or even preschool. Others have found a district along their way. Personally, being here since my preschool years, I've met a lot of people and it's pretty cool to see how much we've all changed. Different faces, different voices, different styles, but still the same soul. No matter the changes we made throughout the years, hormonal based change, spiritual change, change of appearances, change of friends, change of style, we did it to find ourselves. Don't let that put you down though, because we're still going to go through several changes in our life. So drop the pressure of needing to be at a certain place in your life and be present. We're graduating for crying out loud. We reached a milestone and that's something to be incredibly proud of. Think about the challenges we faced, yeah. Many of us go through different things and experience different struggles, but we're here today despite everything. When life was trying to hold you down, you stayed on top of it. I am proud of you. It may not sound like much, and you may think I'm saying this just to say it, but it is true. I am proud of each and every one of you individually for being here today, about to walk the stage despite fighting battles you may not openly talk about. I understand, and I am right here alongside you. I hope you all have fond memories of this place. I know some of you will make jokes about how you're just ready to get out of here and never to look back again. But like it or not, I know you've all met at least one person who was able to alter the course of your life in a positive way. I know I've met my people. Friends that make me laugh, a boy who reminds me of the sun, my right hand man, or I guess I should say woman, for always being by my side <laughs> and keeping me sane. A principal who was a mentor to me and understood that even though I carried a big responsibility as a school student representative, I was still just a kid with big dreams. Mr. Powell, you have made a big difference for me. You found ways to make things easier and really guided me through everything. You're truly inspiring. I hope you can think about your people or that one person that has made a difference for you a parent, a teacher, a person you cross paths with whose name you don't even know. Mine is my sister. I won't share all the details of how she's changed my life. I'll just read her an extended part of my speech later on. But I just wanna call her out and tell her and my parents how much I appreciate them because I know it'll make her cry. Mom, Dad, Marlena, I love you guys and I thank you all for the opportunities you created for me. With that being said, I want you all to know that you're gonna make it. As teachers, doctors, coaches, cosmetologists, mechanics, future pro athletes, you're gonna become an inspiration to many. We are the future, but don't forget that in order to get there, we must be present. The things you do now are gonna lead you to where you wanna be. If I could leave you with one piece of advice, it would be to live in the moment. You can't change your past and your future isn't promised. So do what you can today so that you're not living with regret. <laughs> That's enough of me talking. I know you just wanna walk the stage already. So this is me, Ashley Guzman, saying my good advice. Maroon and gray, lead the way. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Let's welcome back Mr. Churchill and our vocal music choir for one more song, a tradition at Granite Hills High School, The Irish Blessing.
Oh, yeah. Thank you to all our vocalists this evening. Now the moment we've all been waiting for. Mrs. Nelson, would you please join me at the podium? Would the class of 2023, our 23rd graduating class, please stand? It is with great pride and a profound sense of respect that we present these students to you. They represent what is best about Granite Hills High School. Our hopes and dreams for the future are in very good hands. It is my pleasure to certify to you and the Board of Trustees that these young men and women standing before you have met all requirements of the state of California and the Apple Valley Unified School District necessary for graduation from Granite Hills High School. <laughs> Mrs. Nelson, on behalf of the teachers and staff of Granite Hills High School, it is my great pleasure to present the class of 2023. As superintendent of the Schools for Apple Valley Unified School District and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I acknowledge and accept your certification that these graduating seniors have met the requirements for high school diploma for Granite Hills High School. Congratulations, class of 2023. Graduates, please be seated. It is now time to present the diplomas to the class of 2023. Again, applause is appreciated. However, we ask you please limit your applause so that each and every student can be honored as we present the diplomas. Also, we ask that you remain in your seats until the entire ceremony is complete. Mr. Miguel Gallardo and Mrs. Rosalind Selly will be reading the graduates' names this evening. Rows one and two, please stand. 
Savannah LaCroix. Philip Hernandez. Zeron Pang. Kimberly Soltero. Ezekiel Ruiz. <laughs> Fernanda Lopez. George Fuentes. Aiden Reisler. Jenkins <laughs> Alexis Mendoza Ashley Guzman. <laughs> Lucas Garcia. Randall Harold Jonathan Taylor
We're having wind difficulties, sorry. Momentary pause. Linda Williams. Ramon Ortiz. Azriel Bosch. Edwin Seiler. Jacob Ortega. Kyla Kintaudi. Yesenia Posas. Abby Searles. Lana Bowden. MJ Elisalda. Ariana Montenegro. Ruby Martinez. Juan Sotelo. Daniel Garcia. He left it on the stair, but she needs it for the pictures. Freddy Lira. Can we get a card? You can't get it open. Oh, 
Danny Carvajal. Jesse Marquez. Okay, I think we're good. We're good. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't even get the baby. <laughs> Andrea Abrams. Crystal Garza. David Mercer. Richard Mariano. Mia Maron Lugo. <laughs> Kaylee Powers. Jasmine Rump. <laughs> Emma Miller. <laughs> Jasmine Pereira. Zariana Banks. <laughs> Angel Cha. Jolette Rivas Lopez. Alina Sandoval. Tynesha Menifee. <laughs> Leonette Flores.
Connor Schwartz. Laura Schwartz. Jaylene Madrid. Adelia Ortega. Anthony Recinos. Patricia Garcia. Angel Gomez. Daniel Espinosa. Cesar Sainz Campos. Kimberly Lopez. Melanie Moreno Murillo. Senchin Mendoza Pano. Alan Sanchez Rodriguez. Alexander Victoria Vida. Jose Morales. <laughs> Natalie Acosta. Zion Davis. Edward Aguilar. Angela Mesa. Oh, 
Margarita Garcia. Mariah Burr. Nicole Enriquez Ochoa. Susanna Jacinto. Daniel Ruelas Lagos. Faith Adcox. Trinity Renteria. Mia Colbert. Iris Contreras. Zayan Fernandez. Brittany Gonzalez. Fatima Reyes Antunes. Devin Brown. Natalie Chacon. Joshua Nabarete. Alfonso Negreros. Esteban Hernandez. Elmer Champet. Tierra Sweat. Preciosa Garcia. Yeah. 
Leslie Gordillo. Michael Rivas. Xavier Deduyo. Charisma Sanchez. Ernesto Peña Gonzalez. Luis Tapia Monteon. Isaac Gonzalez. Brandon Washington. <laughs> Courtney Martin. Rayla Washington. <laughs> Angel Parra. Juliana Mercado. <laughs> Adam Gonzalez. Daniel Celestine. Marissa Torres. Araya White. Alia Miley. Derek Kelly.
Naviticus Espinoza. Elijah Whiting Booker. Kayla Mosley. Alyssa Petway. <laughs> Miracle Tate. Kaylee Petrie. <laughs> Erica Choholan. Lauren Wheeler. <laughs> Skylar Zimprich. Charlotte Healy. <laughs> Nicholas Rice. Alejandro Antunes Maciel. <laughs> Eric Hernandez Moran. Leilani Fragoso. Jordan Mora. Bryson Harrison. <laughs> Madison Kears. Steven Lara. Javier Rios Cantu.
Christopher Brewer. Cassidy Day. Omarion Sanders. I got this. Ichiro Ochoa. <laughs> Zachary Henderson. Brian Alvarez. Madison Warren. Byron Rivas. <laughs> Jesus Martinez. Christopher McLean. Samuel Nunez. Timothy Hinckley. Anthony Trujillo. Rafael Reina Espinosa. <laughs> Daniel Corzo. Oscar Lee. Aiden Rose. Matthew L. Ali. Sebastian Sanchez. <laughs> Rebecca Gonzalez. Oh, 
Samantha Grantham. Lanaya Dixon. Desiree Romero. Sophia Taranzo. Mariah Zapata. Madison Good. Camilla Birhen. Alexia Valdez. Aiden Doherty. Angel Carcamo. Daniel Perez. Brianna Ramirez. Ashley Ramirez. Amara Thompson. Braden Hart. Kaylee Robinson. Jordan Rugg. Makai McClendon. Ramses Sepeda. <laughs> Brianna McLean.
Daisy Navarro. Cynthia Carrera. Ashley Cepeda. Someone stepped on it. Not here. Oh, okay, you go to the next one. This is, I did. But the, the mic, the mic. Oh, Sandra Alawad. Asusena Ramirez. Caitlin Aguilar. Sean D'Alba. Destiny Lutz. <laughs> Roman Calvillo. Joel Dillard. <laughs> Elizabeth Ramirez Vasquez. <laughs> Amanda Molinar. <laughs> Mark Hoddle. Heather Jenrich. <laughs> Michael Samuel Cruz. Lester Quiroz. Kanaya Geis.
Please welcome back Mr. Churchill and our vocalist for the singing of the alma mater. Welcome to the stage once again, Senior Class President Sedona Pratt, who will lead us in the traditional tassel ceremony, along with our class officers and governing council. Members of the graduated class of 2023, will you please stand? You may now move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations, class of 2023! Thank you for joining us this evening. I want to wish you a very safe evening and a very successful future. You may now join your graduates on the field. Thank you.